Hello, welcome to the After Bedtime Podcast. I am your host, HP Burrito. It has been a very long time coming since I've done an episode of the After Bedtime Podcast. Um, matter of fact, it's been over two years now, if you actually think about it. The uh, last time I did the After Bedtime Podcast was the um, Dia de los Muertos episode back in uh, 22. So it's been a couple years. And there's no excuse why I haven't done a podcast. It's very time-consuming doing one of these videos. You don't have to play the game to make the background video for you guys to watch like you're watching right now. Um, and then I have to record and, and maybe research depending on the topic and what I'm doing. And today I'm just going, you know, ad lib. I'm going the old metabolic spirit, you know, saying one take, we're going to go. And, um, yeah. I, 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 again, there's no excuse why I haven't been doing podcasts. I've just been very busy with you know real life stuff, you know, raising a family and whatnot, working as many hours as I do a day, and then coming home and taking care of my family. It's very chaotic, just like in uh, the video you're watching, where I go into the end to fight the Ender Dragon for the first time in my survival world, and uh, mistakes will be made. You'll see as I continue to uh, talk here about what's going on. Anywho. Um, a lot has changed in the world. We just had an election here in America. Um, the new president-elect Donald Trump is uh, going to take office in January. Um, uh, I'm not going to hear this, uh, talk about politics now because it's it's not really what I want to talk about today. It's a good thing, bad thing. It doesn't really matter because it's a uh, it's a thing. It happened, and uh, we'll see what happens. I think there's a lot more going on in the world than just what's happening on this little area of the world of we call America. There is so much more going on with the uh, the uh, WHO, the uh, World Economic Forum, and and other entities that are out there. Pretty much the uh, the shadow government or cabal, as you whatever you want to call it, of what's going on here in the world, trying to take over. And um, it's it's nuts. It's crazy. And I. Uh, I sit back and I watch everything here and, and quietly watch and observe and I don't report as much as I used to with these podcasts and I, and I think that's to my detriment to be honest because I I use these podcasts as an outlet to to reach out to whoever wants to listen to me rant and rave and whatever I'm discussing at the time and today I'm just again I'm, I'm going at lip here. And not much has changed. I mean, the more more things change, the more things stay the same. It's an old it's an old saying I used to hear, and I never understood it as a kid. But as an adult, it's it's hilarious. I think it's funny because I see how more things change, the more things stay the same. Because as a kid, I always grew up, you know, rice and beans, and, and then that's just the way I grew up. We ate rice and beans almost every day. It wasn't every day, but it was it was it was a staple in my my childhood. And I vowed that I would never eat rice and beans as an adult. And now, as an adult, I make rice and beans because my family enjoys rice and beans, especially when I make it. It's 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 insane. It's funny as hell. Because the more it changes, the more it stays the same. I'm an adult. I vow never to eat rice and beans. And now I don't mind eating it, and I eat it all the time. It's, it's funny to me. <laughs> it's the way life is. But, um, I don't know. I've just been... Doing my own thing, just you know, like I said, just sitting back, watching everything going down, and watching all these things, things going around. Just listening to my podcast, I listen to all the usual stuff: Ground Zero with Clyde Lewis, um, the Secret Teachings with Ryan Gable. That's a good one too. Um, I like that because it's, he does it in a long form, and he like explains in a lot of detail, and uh, all the details. He and, and and Ryan does a real good job of that, and. Uh, I, I do enjoy his, his his podcast. I've also been listening to Ryder Lee here lately, and Ryder Lee's been talking about the spiritual things, and that's one thing that I've been trying to work on a lot here lately is my own spiritual well-being, is that, you know, if I want to put it, because I feel there is a battleground out there. There's a battle coming with what's going on here, you know, politically, and also out in the heavens and the cosmos. We've got asteroids coming af- at us uh, apophis is coming here soon in a couple of years i think it's gonna be doing this little flyby it might hit us we don't we might be gone here in a you know in a few couple of apophis hits us that's a 
that's an end killer right there. That's a that's a well end gamer. But um I don't know. It's just a lot of things has been changing and it's crazy and I've just been trying to figure out where I fit in in this world and it's it's very it's very crazy. Okay. So let's try something new. I um being a member of Aftermath, you know, for Ground Zero with Clyde Lewis, I I have a couple perks with that. And, and if you're not a member of Aftermath, if you or you don't listen to Ground Zero or even Ryan Gable with the Secret Teachings, um, they're both on Aftermath.media. So if you want to get both podcasts at one location with zero ads, other than listening on the radio when it's live, it's you're at Ground Zero Radio. Um, <laughs> The aftermath.media is probably the best spot to go because you can listen to it on your time whenever you want. And and this is not a they're not sponsoring the show. They're not it's not plug. I'm just a fan that enjoys the service and uses it on a regular basis. But anyway, one of the things that we have is is a Telegram channel where we can post news articles with each other, and it's um it's a cool channel. I like to go under and I, I used to. And I'm um, uh, add content to that. I, really, I haven't done so lately because I've been very busy. I rarely even look at the um, the Telegram channel chat sometimes for a week or two. It, it, I, I'm ashamed of it. I know, but, but but one thing we can do is use that to our advantage here with the After Bad Time podcast and go through it. And I can read the headlines that we got. And then if I see something, maybe we'll go through some of the channels that I go through for our news, and maybe we can you know, post that on here. So, you know, more people get, you know, exposed to the media that's out there, not just the daily repertoire of the mainstream media that we get the same nonsense constantly. I don't know about you guys, but I've stopped watching the news. I literally watch five, ten minutes of the news, weather, traffic, and that's pretty much it. You know, <laughs> unless it's breaking news that they're breaking in, it's usually just weather and traffic. And living where I live in, weather is a big deal. You have to be weather aware. Anyway, so we're here at the Aftermath uh, uh, Media Telegram channel, and I'm just going to peruse through these headlines. And if I see something interesting, I'll, I'll, I'll stop and I'll say something. Uh, I'm not going to go to the beginning of this channel because it's a lot of um, there's a lot of stuff on here. Like I've got over a thousand, was it sixteen hundred something uh, posts that I haven't seen yet because I've just been away. And a lot of this is memes, but there's a lot of re- news people that throw a lot of re- news reports in there. Of, Things are going on, like, let's put this to see. No, I don't know how old this is. This is from, or we're also in October 29th. This is old stuff here. So this is going to be a lot of pre-election stuff. Um, here we have some talk about Russian special forces. Um, and hit by drones. Like, oh, some, so I guess Chetna's hit. So we have, we have stuff here. Uh, Okay, this is from the general. Let me read this real quick. Okay. This is from the general breaking news. Elon Musk claims that ending the Federal Reserve is necessary. Hmm. So, yeah, this is all like pre election stuff. This one was ordered from the Gateway Pundit talking about an FBI whistleblower tells Congress former FBI Director James Comey. Inserted two female agent honeypots, quote unquote honeypots, inside Trump 2016 campaign, separate from Russia hoax investigation. And then we have the um, actual news article here with the link to it. It's a, uh, I don't know if you want to type this in and look for it yourself to look at this. It's HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.thegatewaypundit.com. Uh, forward slash 2024 forward slash 104 slash FBI dash whistleblower dash tells dash Congress dash former dash FBI dash director dash James forward slash and then there's three dots so I'm guessing there's more but it's not showing me the entire link okay sorry guys let's see I will try to remember to put these on here in the description of the video for these links so you guys can click on them and, and read these articles yourself because I'm looking at the article right now that I clicked on and there's a lot of information on here 
about what's going on about the FBI and the Department of Justice was in on an assault. The candidate for years. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I'm not going to read all this to you guys right here because it's just a waste of time. Not a waste of time, but it's this is stuff that happened back. Like, this was reported back in October 29th. So it's been a couple of days. So this is not like new news for you guys. Matter of fact, let me skip forward down to current events. Bam, all the way down. And let's go backwards and go backwards in time and see what we got going on here. See, that's one of the that's only bad thing about doing something like this right now is because everything here right now is is about the election right now. It's all about Trump this and Trump that. Like, here, let me go. This, this one right here. Okay, this one here is talking about Robert F. Kennedy. Okay, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. on how industrial owned agriculture is not only giving us unhealthy food. It's wiping out generational family farms and allowing China and Baal's Gates to take control of farmland. It's a 3 minute and 14 second video. Um, it was forwarded from David Avocado Wolf. I mean, I guess I could play this here. I haven't heard this yet, so I don't know what's going to happen. Hey, everybody, here I am in... Uh, um Sherwood. Oops. I'm on Sherwood Island. There's a little wood chuckle. Are you think Shirley Connecticut? Shirley Troubadour asked a question about why Gates and China are being allowed to buy up all the farmland in our country. And I'm going to tell you something that I had an experience with. I spent many years, about 20 years, doing the factory farms, the big hog farms, and the big uh, chicken producers like Tyson and Bo Pilgrim and Frank Perdue. But Smithfield Foods was the biggest pork producer. And Smithfield came to the state of, of North Carolina. They built a slaughterhouse that could process 30,000 pigs a day. And then they had a partner named uh, Wendell Murphy, who was in the state senate. And he passed 28 laws in the North Carolina state senate, making it illegal to sue a factory farm. He left and went into partnership with Smithfield created a way to raise pigs instead of raising them on farms to raise them in warehouses called Murphy 1100s and they, they dropped the price of pork from 60 cents a pound to 2 cents a pound it put out of business all 28,000 independent hog farmers in the state of North Carolina and it replaced them with 2200 factories all of them either owned by Smithfield or contracted to Smithfield. The only farmers who could stay in business were farmers who signed that contract with Smithfield to, to mortgage their homes, to put those big hog sheds, the Murphy 1100s, on their property. And then they lose all control. They become serfs on their own land. Uh, Smithfield dictates all their farming practices. It gives them the food. It, tell, it, it delivers the the piglets picks up the, the grown animals and brings them to slaughter. They put out of business 28,000 farmers, and they control now 80% of the public production in North, in North Carolina. Because they dropped the price in North Carolina, Iowa had to adopt the same system, had to uh, cave in to Smithfield. They ended up taking control of 80% of them hog production in our country, then they sold themselves to China. So now China owns all that hog production in America, and it controls our landscapes. And that's the end of Thomas Jefferson's vision of an American democracy rooted in tens of thousands of independent freeholds, each one owned by family farmers, each with a stake in our system of government. And that's why all of this industrial agriculture not only gives us substandard food, but they're also taking control of our landscapes, and that is a huge threat to American democracy. I hope you guys have a good day. If you like this video and you want to help me... Uh, the rest of it was just a political thing for Kennedy 2024. Uh, not much left to think it was uh, just yeah, a couple of seconds, like four more seconds of this is endorsing it. I'm not... President of the United States, go to Kennedy24.com yeah. and donate now. Yeah, I was just asking for a donation for him to become president. And um, 
you know, he makes a real good point. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people like to complain about China taking over America. But the best, and this is with the election in mind, you know, the best way to vote isn't by going to the ballot. I mean, that's the, you know, the official way to vote for like elections for presidents and whatnot. But the best way to vote with corporations is with your dollar, is with how you spend your money. And if we're going to these companies that, and I don't want to start naming these companies, but we know who they are. These big, these big industrial companies, these big box companies that, that I'm mean, not like, Ugh, God, I don't want to say names so bad, but I don't want to say names at all. But when we go to these these companies that they import from China and do all and get all their stocks imported from other places, and then we let you know these Chinese companies that own all these like like he said Smithfield owns the pork, which is owned by China now. Instead of you know, yeah, we might pay a little more by st buying for locally grown farm you know farmers you know. Of American farmers, but we're staying American. We're we're spent, we're voting with our dollar. We don't want that Chinese way of doing things. We like the way we did things here, the way we used to do things here. We were we were we were, we were independent in, every, in all aspects. We were food independent. We were we were res all independent. We 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 have our own natural resources here. And instead of importing everything, we should just use what we have here, grow what we have here. And when we grow together, we become united and, and we get stronger together. And that's the beautiful thing about how America used to be and how it still is and how it can be. It, it's no matter how hard you, know, you try and you fail, you keep getting up there and trying again until you succeed. And when we come together as, as a whole, as individuals, each in our own way, Growing our own way and, and and becoming better versions of ourselves, we all grow together. And when, and the way they're doing now, the the way news media is, and the way the the um, the um, this is the psychology of everything, the way they're attacking us, it's because this is a. It's like I said, we're at war right now, and, and, and we don't want to say, but we are at war. It's a psychological war. They're they're coming at us on multiple fronts. It's not. It's, war now is not a battlefield, and not any longer. It, it, humans have become too too evolved and too smart for just hand to hand combat. I mean, we we still do that. Don't get me wrong. I know it goes wrong. I know I'm, people are gonna be like Huey. Do I, there's wars all over the place. We see it all the time. Yeah, I get it. There's an actual combat war. But there's also psychological warfare. There, there's, there's, and I don't care how much they deny and how I'm going to get demonetized for this, but you know I've never really cared about the demonetization of my videos here on this, on this platform. But do the weather warfare and the germ warfare that we're going through, I mean, we went through it before. We're going through it again. We know what's going to happen. You know, it's, it's going to happen again. It's just, it's just, it's just the time is coming when we just got to hunker down. That's why we got to get prepared. Prepare your food supplies. You're going to get locked down. So you be, be, be at home prepared with all your stuff that you need to, to survive. And I'm not just talking a couple of days. I'm not just talking a couple of weeks. I'm talking about a couple of months, maybe even years if you can do it. But but prepare. I mean, I know you're, oh, here goes Burrito again. and on his little prepper fucking my soapbox. But... You need to get ready, and no, and don't just prepare in food. It's not just about food either. You need to think about your money and your assets and how you're going to be able to survive and buy things in the future when the American dollar has no value to it. You need to invest in, in metals like gold and silver and platinum and whatever is out there and diversify. Go into the uh, the cryptocurrencies. You, it might make it, it might not. We don't know. It's all a gamble. That's why it's an investment. It's all... You know, it might be good. It might come back. It might be bad. You never know. They're safe. They're safer bets than others. Like I get gold and silver and metal, heavy metals that are precious metals. That, that those are real. They stood the test of time to be really good, safe investments. But when you go against like things like cryptocurrency and stock markets and things like that, it's a higher risk. But you know, high risk, high reward. It's it's how you want to play the game. Either way. Things are, are. We need. If you want things to go back the way we want, the way they were, we need to vote with our dollar to to go back to it. Go to the American standard. Buy American. 
and you're going to pay more for it, but it, it's going to last a lot longer than that Chinese stuff you get. I mean, you know, honestly, if you think about it, you, you spend a little more one time for a product, and it's going to last you three, four, or five times longer than the stuff you're getting at these box stores. It lasts like a couple months, maybe a year if you're lucky. I don't know. I, I've used stuff that, that's broken almost immediately, and it's really aggravated. I should have just spent the extra money and got American. And I'm guilty for this, too. I'm not, I'm not just saying that we're all doing bad here. You, know, you guys are doing bad, and I'm doing good, and I'm better than you. No. I, I'm guilty of this, too. I go to these big box stores, too, because it's convenient. And that's, what, that's how we become in America. We're, we're creatures of, we become uh, people of convenience. You know, give me convenience or give me death. Uh, <laughs> it's 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 ridiculous. It used to be give me freedom or give me death, or give me liberty or give me death. But now it's give me convenience. I I want it easy. I can be at home on my phone, and I vote for or I don't vote, but I freaking I order my food. It gets delivered right to me with Grubhub. I um order at these stores and it gets delivered to me. It's ridiculous. All right, let's keep uh going. Oh, check this out. Uh, as I'm doing this, there's another one. I just saw a pop-up that somebody else added something to the uh, Telegram channel. Let's, let's do uh, one more video that we see. And, uh, okay, this is talking about the more da, 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 Lago. Okay, trillion dollar. This was talking about the, um, yeah, that's synchronistic. Okay, I was just talking about how the battlefield of everything that we we got going on here. This one's talking about here. Okay, this is the the headline. This is from uh, the bio clandestine uh, webpage, whatever that means. Or is that? I've never heard of that. So I, I can't like vouch for it or anything. But the trillion dollar corporate media machine just lost an information war to a bunch of citizens on our cell phones. We launched a revolution using memes. We influenced and inspired the masses, outmaneuvered the MSM, and shifted the Overton window. The battlefield expanded. That's the headline for this video. Again, I've never watched this video. I don't know what it's about. Uh, let's see. Okay. 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 I guess you don't see what's going on. Okay, okay. It doesn't make sense what's going on so far. Okay. So it popped up with a quote from Sun Tzu, and then um, um, it starts playing a video. It's an old TV. It's an old, it's an old card car, clown cartoon. And then he starts saying something, and the words are popping up on the screen. Um, yeah. It's, I don't know if this is going to be uh, good for this. The other one was good because it was, you know, Robert F. Kennedy speaking himself. So that one was a good video for this. But I don't think that's going to be a good video for this. Yeah, it just, you know, I don't know. This is, see, a lot of this, too, is... Uh, you could react to it. So someone posts a video and people react to your video and then other people put memes up about it and, and, and all that. So it's a lot of like stuff. But it's a, again, it's a lot of um, other members. You know, it's a, we come together as a community that so we all post on here and it's up to us you know, to use our own intelligence and discernment to what we want to do and how we should have, um, go forward. Okay, this one's a three-minute video by uh, it's a nurse whistleblower. It looks like it's a TikTok video. What is this? This is a big manifesto. Okay, this is word from Police Frequency. Okay, it's talking about Trump's plan, plan to dismantle this deep state and return the power to the American people. I think this is like a transcript of everything he actually says. 
It's a three minute video. Let's see what happens here. Here's my plan to dismantle the deep state and reclaim our democracy from Washington corruption once and for all. And corruption it is. First, I will immediately reissue my 2020 executive order restoring the president's authority to remove rogue bureaucrats. And I will wield that. Nope. That power very aggressively. Second, we will clean out all of the corrupt actors in our national security and intelligence apparatus, and there are plenty of them. The departments and agencies that have been weaponized will be completely overhauled so that faceless bureaucrats will never again be able to target and persecute conservatives, Christians, or the left's political enemies, which they're doing now at a level that nobody can believe even possible. Third, we will totally reform FISA courts, which are so corrupt that the judges seemingly do not care when they are lied to in warrant applications. So many judges have seen so many applications that they know were wrong, or at least they must have known. They do nothing about it. They're lied to. Fourth, to expose the hoaxes and abuses of power that have been tearing our country apart. We will establish a Truth and Reconciliation Commission to declassify and publish all documents on deep state spying, censorship, and corruption. And there are plenty of them. Fifth, we will launch a major crackdown on government leakers who collude with the fake news to deliberately weave false narratives and to subvert our government and our democracy. When possible, we will press criminal charges. Sixth, we will make every inspector general's office independent and physically separated from the departments they oversee so they do not become the protectors of the deep state. Seventh, I will ask Congress to establish... She is a medical professional. I had a button, I guess, with the next video. Here's my plan to dismantle right, the deep state. All right, well, I'm going to sign up. Now, okay, let's see if I can go to this transcript, see if I can read it. He was on the seventh one, he said, right? As Congress to establish an independent... Uh, yeah, this is just a transcript, so I'll just keep reading what he says. Cause he's al it was almost done. So he says, seventh, I will ask Congress to establish an independent auditing system to continually monitor our intelligence agencies to ensure they are not spying on our citizens or ru running disinformation campaigns against the American people or that they are not spying on someone's campaign like they spied on my campaign. Eighth, I will continue the effort launched by the Trump administration to move parts of the sprawling federal bureaucracy to new locations outside the, wa the Washington swamp. Just as I move the Bureau of Land Management to Colorado, as many as 100,000 government positions can be moved out, and I mean immediately out of Washington to Places filled with patriots who love America, and they really do love America. <laughs> I almost went to his accent. Anyway, ninth, I will work to ban federal bureaucrats from taking jobs at the companies they deal with and that they regulate. So they deal with these companies and they regulate these companies, and then they w want to take jobs from these companies. Doesn't work that way. Such a public display cannot go on and is taking place all the time, like with Big Pharma. Finally, I will push a constitutional amendment to impose term limits on members of Congress. This is how I will shatter the deep state and restore the government that is controlled by the people and for the people. Thank you very much. Now, <clears throat> Donald Trump, as an American citizen, and you are my president. If you do the things you just said you will do, I am very hopeful for the outcome of this country because that will restore the power to the people, for the people. Because that's what this country, this country was started off. It's a, it's a country of the people, by the people, for the people. And we need to go back to that. And I truly, truly hope Mr. President, that you do the things that you said you will do, especially the term limits for Congress. I've been saying that for years. I agree with that. 
and I would love to see that be implemented in some way that we have a positive turnaround in this country for the people. Anyway, guys, that has been it for the Bedtime Podcast. That was the last video. Uh, wow, what a way to end the show. <laughs> I kind of like this. Let me know what you guys think about this format, about me going through some of these um, uh, articles that I find on our Telegram channel and, and, and tell you guys about it, keep you guys informed. Um, I know it's been a, a much longer format than we're used to doing for the Bedtime Podcast. We, we've been going on for over half an hour. But again, it's been a while. I've had a lot to say, and I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And, and let's continue this in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. So I'll, 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 I'll read them all. I'll reply when I can and, and when I can. And um, thanks all. I guess I'll see you guys next time after bedtime. Good night, everyone.